Hello everyone. So in this video, um, at the first part, I'm gonna be showing you guys some footage that I've recorded using the DJI Osmo Action 4, okay? Which is right here. This is a fantastic camera and uh, um, I cannot praise enough about its usability. And now, I have one more reason to praise for it, which is the fantastic integration with DJI's newest wireless mic 2, okay? The wireless mic 2 is released with the DJI Osmo Pocket 3, which is what I'm using to record this video, okay? Um, and the creator, the content creator combo comes with a wireless mic 2 and it also comes with the additional extended battery for the Pocket 3. Uh, the Pocket 3, by the way, also a fantastic camera uh, if you're not doing any kind of action sports. Uh, for example, right now, it's, it's, it's great for vlogging, it's great for making video conclusions or introductions as I'm doing right now. Um, the GoPro Action 4, where it excels is if you're doing action sports okay so next uh, section of the footage you're gonna see some action sports recorded on this now i kind of regret um the recording mode that i've used for the first part of the mountain bike riding because i pretty much picked the uh, the horizon leveling mode and used the wide viewing for the horizon leveling and i should have used ultra wide because that's gonna give the mountain bike riding a more dynamic view and also additional extra um extra areas that getting cut off during my first recording session uh of, on on the top part of the osmo action 4. so that was my only regret however uh you would be able to see a properly framed shot after the mountain bike ride because later on probably just not long ago like last week dji released the firmware update for the Osmo Action 4 uh, to support the wireless mic 2, which they only included with the Pocket 3. And during my Pocket 3 unboxing, I was curious because I was like, would the Action 4 support the wireless mic 2? That would be great because now I do not need any additional receivers plugging onto the action camera. To do recording and uh, or get you know fantastic sound quality at a noisy environment, which it did fantastic as you can hear in the second section of the action camera recording. Um, I'm gonna be switching between the in camera recording and the wireless mic 2 recording, and you can hear what kind of crazy difference that the wireless mic 2 um, with the proper setup can make as opposed to the direct in-camera recording or in-camera audio recording uh, recorded from the Osmo Action 4. Are there any limitations to integration of the wireless mic 2? Absolutely. Um, you can't take this into the water because this is not a waterproof, okay? At least I haven't read anything about using this for swimming pools or kayaking. That would be kind of dangerous. So for those kind of water sports, I would say stick with just the action four and the audio is still good enough you know for most uh, regular use if you absolutely need the best audio quality um unfortunately i don't think water sports uh you can have a good implementation of the audio recording um with action four okay i i haven't found a better way if you know let me know but action sports mountain biking uh cycling this is great you like you can hear exactly what you're talking about in post-processing um the audio quality is fantastic all right so enough said um after this introdu introduction enjoy the quick sample of the mountain bike videos and uh after the mountain bike video and the wireless mic 2 test uh, i'm gonna do a final conclusion video i guess today's goal is to just ride some easy in like uh beginner intermediate trails and get a feel for this bike because this is literally my first ride ever on this bike i don't want to go crazy and uh you know hurt myself i don't have any gloves no protective gears i don't even have a backup tire so i don't know what you expect
but I'm probably going to be confident um, that hopefully it lasts for a, uh, a whole session without any kind of puncture. This is a 26 millimeter stock tires that came with this bike. All right, getting into the trail. And uh, hopefully the battery will actually last me a little bit. rode this for a long time. Inner trail, good for me. Wow, oh, look at that beautiful view. It's recording at 4K 60 frames per second. Hopefully, it gives me a, a pretty good, uh, flowy feeling riding this trail. I also forgot to bring my uh, GPS watch, so I'm using Strava on my phone to record the ride. See some stats later.
one bike setup is uh, definitely a lot better than a triple I had before or the uh, double. Much easier to switch gears. And got plenty of gears to go fast and slow and big climbs on the uh, 50, 50T cassette on the rear. Haven't even used 50T on this one. See a good first ride on the specialized some jumper comp alloy. A lot more agile than my uh, All Mountain Endurance uh, Mission Three I had before from Diamondback. This is like two times easier to pedal compared to the uh, the Endurance All Mountain setup, especially on those kind of single tracks. Much easier, and uh, it's got a good flow too. Keep in mind, this is my very first ride on this bike after years not riding mountain bike. So the bike handled very well. <coughs> Get a few more rides. Hopefully the Osmo 4 Action Force still have some battery juice left so I can do a conclusion at the end of the ride. All right, where are we going? We're going this way. The dirt jump trail on the side looks fun. view. Last time I was kayaking uh, around the, the shore over here, it was pretty good experience too. Beautiful. Just here chasing a raccoon. Wish I had some cat food so I can give it to him. All right, so we pretty much finished with the riding. All right, so this is the um, building internal microphone recording. And uh, also keep in mind, I have the protective uh, casing wrapped around the Osmo Action 4, which is gonna affect the sound quality just a little bit. I'm standing behind the Osmo Action 4 and just handhelding uh, the Action 4. Just give you guys a General idea on at a quieter environment how the microphone is going to sound. This is using stereo recording, so the microphone on the front and the back of the Osmo is all active. And I'm just trying to get a picture of our cat sleeping. And uh, so obviously at a quiet environment, I think the microphone quality on the Osmo Action is actually very, very good. So you most likely is not going to hear any difference when I'm going to switch the microphone uh, from the building one to the wireless mic. And next, okay, um, wireless mic two, I'm going to just put it over here and I'm going to turn it on. Okay. And Let's see if it's able to actually pair uh, with the, yeah, it looks like it's already paired with the, the Osmo Action. So hopefully the record, okay. I literally just connected. So, and, and you can see the connection indicator on the screen and it shows a, a volume level on the screen of the wireless mic too. So now I'm actually going to just set the camera over here and I'm going to walk really far away and you're going to hear the sound connection is going to be consistent and I'm literally at the other room now. Um, the sound level is not going to change and it's, I think this is one advantage even if you're using it indoors is if you're far away from your action camera, okay, um, you're still able to actually have a consistent sound recording. Oh. There we go. He just wants to go. Here we go. Let's follow you. Let's go. 
And of course, over here is a sweet pea. All right, guys, so the rain kind of is uh, stopping and uh, going. I'm just gonna take my bike to my local park really quick and uh, give you guys a very short and brief um, sound test when recording on the uh, the DJI Osmo Action 4 integrated microphone and uh, as compared to the wireless mic 2 from the Osmo Pocket 3. So right now it's uh, recording with the uh, integrated microphone. I have the wireless mic 2 um, tucked inside my shirt and right now the power is turned off. I use a magnetic clip to clip it inside my shirt and I'm going to turn the, the mic on so to see if there's any difference in terms of uh, sound recording quality. So I just turned the mic, the wireless mic on and uh, try to see if there's any difference. Uh, it's extremely windy now here in Miami. Uh, the wireless mic 2 had a, uh, a dead cat a wind re noise reducer mounted on the microphone and is tucked inside my shirt. So hopefully that would give me a, a better sound quality as opposed to the wind blowing. I'm going to turn off the mic for you guys to hear the wind. Okay, it's going to be uh, really loud, I think. All right, so I just turned off the mic, the wireless mic. Now it's just uh, recording from the DJI Action 4. And uh, um, I just installed a brand new 12-speed Dory XT group set on this bike, which I just bought used. It has been a lot of fun. So let's go to the park and then we'll just conclude over there really quickly. So now it's uh, no wireless mic from the building stereo microphone. I'm going to turn the wireless mic on again, try to see again the difference between the, uh, the hub sound recorded using the Osmo Action or the wireless mic too. Okay. So I just turn on the mic. Let me know if there's any difference. Again, it's still very, very windy here. Obviously, the soccer game has ended. Now, oh, the 12-speed Dory, the shifting is, uh, is very nice, very crisp. It's full mechanical, but it's like super, super crisp shifting compared to the old SLX that uh, the previous owner had on here. So it's definitely a lot of fun. Running through the puddles. So first ride on the Dory XT. Um, not bad, not bad. And uh, so yeah, let me know what do you guys think. And the last, I'm gonna turn off the mic and go face against the wind. Okay, I think the mic is off. Now the wind is still blowing into the go 
the action four. And uh, I'm gonna just uh, go ahead and ride back, listen to the footage, let you guys know what I think about the implementation of the wireless mic 2 from the Pocket 3 to the Osmo Action 4. And again, really kudos to DJI for implementing the, uh, the wireless mic 2 without an additional receiver, which makes recording on the Action 4 so much more easier, okay? Starts to rain now. Turn on my wireless mic for one last time. And mic's on. Just gonna enjoy a quick ride back home. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next section. Alright guys, so I am finally back after testing the DJI Osmo Action 4 as well as the newly updated um, support for the wireless mic 2, okay? So the mic 2, wireless mic 2 integration with the Osmo Action 4, based on my observation, is fantastic. and. Uh, you can probably already hear what a significant difference that wireless mic 2 uh, when implemented correctly um, is able to reduce the environmental noise by probably over 70 80 percent so that way the the recording is only going to be focused on what you want to talk about not the annoying hub sound not the crazy car sound and stuff like that uh, or the wind noise for that matter and uh, for that, I'm going to say absolutely go with a Osmo Action 4. Um, if you have the option or if you have the choice between a GoPro Hero 12 or a Osmo Action 4, because both cameras is going to capture fantastic image quality. But what's most important, in my opinion, is the added feature besides fantastic image quality. Okay, it's, you know, added value. Um, since I work in healthcare, we're always talking about added value, okay? In terms of added value, the Osmo Action 4 is going to give you the absolute best bang for your buck compared to the GoPro Hero 12. Why? Larger sensor, fantastic integration with the wireless mic 2 without any additional external receivers without putting any weird USB ports, USB lines in here and compromise the waterproofness of the GoPro, sorry, of the Action 4. And also a easier to use magnetic mount and fully usable back and front touch screen and extremely easy to use and reliable manual system, front and back, okay? The GoPro, Hero 12 that I bought, the front screen doesn't work as a touch screen. It doesn't do anything. So I can't look at myself and adjust settings on the go, but over here with the Action 4, I most certainly can. So, um, and also very easy to switch around uh, polarizers and uh, uh, ND filters if you're into that kind of thing. But for me, for regular action use, like riding mountain bike, right there, um, I don't need any of those. Uh, this thing right off the box can just work fantastic. Uh, if you don't mind about audio quality, okay? If you do mind about audio quality, your your production audio quality, then I think my, propose, my proposal for you is buy a DJI Pocket 3, which is what I'm using to record this final conclusion video. Uh, and make sure you get the creator package because that package gives you the wireless mic 2, which you can use on both the Pocket 3 and Osmo Action 4. And guess what? 
in the future, if they have a new camera out, I'm sure they're gonna integrate the receiver into those cameras so you can continue to use the wireless mic too. Uh, the crazy thing about this is it also has internal recording. So in the future, when they release this or when you can buy this individually, get this because again, it's just surprisingly useful um, with the integration of the DJI products. And um, with that said, the Action 4 is not without its fault, okay? So um, I think the biggest problem I have with it is on the camera itself, it doesn't have a tripod mount. So you must have that magnetic mount with it in order to mount it into a tripod compatible accessory. Um, you can't simply just mount this onto a tripod. No, you can't do that because there's no holes. Uh, anywhere on here so that you know in itself let's see so you just gotta always have a accessory now most GoPro accessories is gonna work fine with the Osmo Action 4 or the Action 3 for that matter with the magnetic thing that DJI provides so if you want to have the magnetic thing already mounted um, into different accessories the clip mount the uh, chest mount, by the way, I highly recommend get the GoPro uh, chesty chest mount. This chest mount works great and have a full range of adjustability for all kinds of action sports, um, kayaking, mountain biking, road biking, whatever. This is quite useful. Um, if you don't want that bulkiness, you can always just think about getting a clip mount. This is also from GoPro. Back when I had the GoPro Hero 10, um, I had a whole bunch of GoPro accessories and the clip mount works great. It's not as um, as precise as the chest mount, where you know it's at the center and the horizon is not gonna tilt. With this, it's highly dependent on what kind of strap you have um, on your backpack, okay? So those are nice to have, but the biggest uh, drawback is it doesn't have a built-in tripod mount, which I think in the GoPro Hero 12, when I got it, I saw there's a tripod mount, so you can easily mount anything tripod related. Now. Can I resolve that? Yes, I'll probably just get some additional magnetic mounts for this, which means added cost, and uh, or another cage that might integrate a tripod mount. But that's the only thing that I don't like about the Action 4. Besides that, um, it actually performed flawlessly during my mountain bike riding uh, footage that you saw at the very beginning. That was my first ride on that bike and my first time using the Action 4. It, it, literally just works like there's nothing easier than just pressing a button and have the camera do pretty much everything for you okay um yeah that like this thing is almost close to perfect um the other thing that i think would be a consideration for all action camera vlog camera manufacturers is uh with the face detect um, most cameras always just put your face right at the center of the camera, which is kind of annoying. Um, I kind of wish that DJI would have an option to put my face somewhere like over here on the uh, the golden triangle area of the frame uh, when doing video, you know, when doing video recording. So with my face always in focus and tracked on the side, I can feature the products in the center and just show you guys whatever there is. Um, in order to showcase the product and then also have my face shown, you know, at the same time. Uh, that would be a nice software addition. But besides that, battery life is great. I think it uses about 1% per a minute of recording. Um, no, I was wrong. It actually, uh, with the whole battery uh, at 100% charged, I was able to get about uh, one hour and 10 minutes of recording. So 70 minutes of recording on a single charge um, before the battery showed about like 5% left. So you could probably stretch it, just get a little more if you're using a lower resolution uh, than 4K and a slower frame rate, you might be able to get more. So I would always suggest get a additional battery uh, or better yet, you can get the action pack or that creative not the creative pack, but that special pack that comes with two additional batteries and a quick charger. That way, um, if you're doing longer than one hour recording in your whole writing session, um, you are very well prepared for that. 
Um, and that's pretty much it. Like I love the Action 4 and now I love it even more with the integration of the wireless mic 2 very seamlessly. Okay. Um, there are some small bugs with the manual system. Uh, sometimes the button, you know, is not as it's not responding, but it's it still performs way better than the GoPro Hero 12 that I had. Uh, in that regard, definitely, definitely give the Action 4 a serious consideration. Um, if you see my footage and you like what you see, that's that's you know that's all Action 4. All I did is do a little bit color boost, sharpen it a little bit. Uh, all the stabilization um, is done like in camera and uh, the audio quality with the wireless mic 2 um, I hit my wireless mic 2 in the shirt so the wind is not blowing on it and I also have a dead cat on it so it was able to capture my voice like almost perfectly at a very noisy situation so in that regard yes absolutely this is probably the best um, audio integration with a wireless mic on the market right now that money can buy. Um, if you know anything better, let me know. I'm also interested. I hope you find this unboxing and the mountain bike riding demo as well as the wireless mic demo helpful to you. And if you did find it helpful, please do hit that like button or subscribe to my channel. Um, I have more cycling related videos coming out and you know, if there are any new gadgets coming out, um, I'll probably be reviewing it if it's to my interest. Otherwise, thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.